Hey there, my name is Sarah Duty and I'm a user experience designer. I recently used Wix.com to redesign my website, theuxnotebook.com. Now, maybe you don't know how to code and you're kind of intimidated by creating a website. The awesome thing is that with Wix, you don't need to know how to code at all. But also, maybe you think, well, I'm not a designer and you're intimidated by making sure that your website looks good and looks professional. Wix is a really great option for you because Wix has a lot of great built-in templates and starting points so that you never have to start from scratch. So today I wanna to talk you through how to use something called Strip inside Wix to start from their templates and really have an awesome design that works well on desktop and mobile and frankly, any device. Okay, as you can see, we're inside the Wix editor and we're editing my website, theuxnotebook.com. So I wanted to jump over to my about page because that's where I'm gonna show you how we might be able to use some of Wix's strip. So I'm just going to go over to my page list and click on about. And now we'll get to the about page. And we are going to scroll down because what I'm thinking is that I really want to add a section about my team. So I have this section about me, but at the bottom, I'd like to add a section about my team. So the cool thing is, like I said, strip. So we're gonna go over to add, and then we're going to go to the strip section. And you can see, all of these strips that we can add. Let me go to the top. So we have strips for about, and you can think of a strip as a pre-made layout, starting point. You can just drag in to your website, and I'm gonna show you just that. So we have these cool about ones, maybe a quote or an about me statement, different strips for contact information, that's awesome. Different strips were kind of a welcome section or a large uh, section at the top of your page or a new section of your web page. But I'm looking for services. So if you did, you know, branding and photography and copywriting and video editing, you can drag this in and call out all four of those things. I thought I saw team ones. Yeah. At the bottom, there's all these teams. So it's cool because. Let's see, I don't have three people, but I'm just going to drag it in here. So you literally just drag it in and then it should just put it there. Yep, exactly. So now the awesome thing is that is already done for me. It saved me so much time. And if I'm not really confident in my designer skills, I can choose from all these awesome pre-made um, strips. The other cool thing is that when I go and look at this in mobile, which we will do quickly right now, okay, and then we scroll to the bottom, it looks pretty good. There's a few things that are a little off and we can fix those, but the benefit to using these strips is that it's going to ensure that your designs look good on mobile, which so, so important. So then if we wanted to customize this, let's see, we would click into one of these and we would say manage column background and I don't know who she is. So I would wanna use one of my images and let's see, I don't remember how I choose a different image. Um, right, I go here to images and then I can choose, like maybe I would put myself here. Let's do it, see what it looks like. Cool. And then I might have my assistant one and assistant two over here. And you can easily just drag and drop things. And like, maybe I would say our team, team UX and B, because that's short for UX notebook. And I don't want that to be bold, so I would do that. And then, um, we don't really have a read more. There's nothing else that I want people to go to. So I would just delete this text, honestly. 
And then it's really, really simple. Like I said, I don't need to know how to code, so I can change the font. I am using the font Hoppins, which I'm looking for right now. Fonts, go back to the P's for Hoppins. There we go. Yes, and then I want it to be black. And maybe, maybe I want the top text to be black. And then line, I want to make that line black. See, and I don't know how to code. I don't need to know how to code, I should say, which is awesome. I'm picking from font selector, color selectors, etc. And then if I want to edit my text, you know, I just click in and edit it. Super simple. Or my assistants could do this because they don't know how to code. So it's even easier. So like I said, I am a huge fan of the strips. And it's awesome if you're not confident in your design skills or maybe you don't have budget to hire a designer. This would give you a good starting point so that you could create the first version of your website so that you make sure it has all the pages, all the calls to action, et cetera. And then you could hire a designer and they could use it as a starting point. That would be something really smart to do if you are not ready to invest in hiring a designer on your own. But like I said, there's so many different strips you can make use of. And beyond strip, there's also tons of other pre-made things. There are um, lists that you can choose, uh, different kind of layouts for horizontal boxes. Maybe you could use this as your team. Um, what else do we have? Um, kind of like different sections people could click on. Um, there's photo galleries too, let's see, music modules. I mean, there's everything. So like I said, you have an awesome, awesome starting point, which is a huge time saver and which is one of the reasons why I decided to use Wix to reach the UX Notebook. So if you are curious about my website, the UX Notebook, or using Wix, check out the links below and that'll be able to let you see my own website that I created. Or if you're ready to go and start making yours, you can head over and do that right now using Wix. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment so I know. And don't forget to share and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.